What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. Now you guys seem to love yesterday's video on an entirely different subreddit, so I thought I'd do the same today. This is r slash glitch in the matrix. My son predicts things slash reads minds. I don't know if this counts as a glitch, but I'm going to see what people think. My son just turned six and he sometimes seems to predict things or even make them happen. I usually chalk them up to coincidences, even though they freak me out a little. Last year though, when he was four, he'd been sick for over a month and the doctors kept saying it was a virus. It ended up being mono, but before we knew that, one of his tonsils had swollen up to a huge size. He used to get mad when I'd asked to see it, but I was checking to keep an eye on it. So one morning I was driving him and my daughter to their grandparents on my way to work. This was early morning, so we were all quiet and not talking. I had the radio turned up and the heat on full blast because it was winter. I know I was not talking out loud and even if I had been, it was too noisy for him to hear me. So I'm driving and I thought, I wonder if he'll let me check his throat when we get there. As soon as I thought it, he said, yeah, mama, you can check my throat today. I was shocked and asked why he said that and he said, because you want to check it. I asked how he knew and he said he heard me. At this point, I'm kind of freaked out and said what do you mean you heard me did i say that out loud the way i'm talking to you now He laughed like that was ridiculous and said, no, I just heard you in my head. There was a lot of back and forth about what he meant, but it basically came down to the fact that he insisted I wasn't talking with my mouth and he just heard me in his head, not with his ears. So guys, there is a little bit of what you can expect on this subreddit. It says right here that r slash glitch in the matrix are eyewitness events that cannot be explained with critical thinking. That was definitely one of those. I'm kind of getting Matilda vibes from this. I don't know if you guys know the story of that girl who had superpowers she could do stuff with her mind but it's a little bit like this to be honest i don't know if there is a scientific explanation behind this i've heard similar stories before i don't know guys let me know down below what do you think's happened here moving on to our second story i died in late 2015 i was given a second chance i've never used reddit before but a friend of mine was talking to me about the glitch in the matrix subreddit so i decided to share my story here since i don't have an explanation for it almost three years later rewind back to september 2015 i was a freshman who had just entered high school two weeks prior already school was weighing down on me and i'd been continuing a habit i had of going on walks to clear my mind on this day i'd been walking around a pond near my house there's a trail that goes around the pond and then the trail leads up to a set of abandoned train tracks on the other side which sits about 15 feet above the path and pond below after walking the circle i was crossing the train tracks when i decided i wanted some ice cream now the fastest way to get to the ice cream shop was to take the path below the train tracks but there isn't any way to cross the pond without going all the way back around and being 14 years old I decided that I could just jump from the tracks onto the path below and keep walking looking down from above It didn't seem to be that far of a jump So that's what I did the next thing I remember after that was being half conscious in an ambulance Everything was extremely blurry and the paramedics sounded slightly panicked I wasn't able to move either of my legs. So I think they were both broken This scene continued on for a few minutes until we arrived at the hospital and I was wheeled into the emergency room on a stretcher i only had a few minutes in emergency before i eventually lost all consciousness and that was the last thing i saw after i'd been unconscious for what felt like about an hour i opened my eyes and i was on the ground i just hit the ground after jumping but this time i was fully conscious i hadn't noticed this before i jumped but there had been a car parked watching me i think they thought i was attempting suicide but it probably looked that way and the people in it had jumped out and called an ambulance for me the ambulance ride had been the exact exact same as it was the first time and i was put into the same emergency room that i had died in before the only difference between the two events were that i was fully conscious this time and my injuries were much more minor i was discharged from the hospital the same night with only stitches in my lip a slightly fractured jaw and a mild concussion for a while after this i assumed that the first scenario had just been a weirdly coincidental dream that i'd had while i was unconscious so i didn't consider it anything abnormal it wasn't until a few weeks after that my my mum told me that the people who had helped me said that I had been conscious the entire time. I hadn't been knocked out after hitting the ground or anything. So that entire scenario managed to happen in the few seconds it took for me to hit the ground while I was still conscious. Anyways, I'm not very good at describing things, especially with how blurry this day was now 
now than it was years ago But i'm 17 now and I still have no way to explain what happened that day other than I died and I was given a second chance This story is kind of like when you're playing a game and you die and it says on screen You need to go back to your last checkpoint. That is so cool I've got a little bit of an inkling as to what might have happened here I reckon when you went unconscious your brain suddenly in a split second Imagined what would have happened in that situation and you thought it was reality So I guess your brain just exaggerated to a point what the worst outcome might have been and you took that as what really happened But then I guess you woke up and thought oh wait that didn't actually happen must be such a surreal experience for that to happen to you though I wonder like how long you think about that after it's happened and think do I really have a second chance at life here? What happened there? Especially given that you said everything seemed to play out the first time like it was real life And then it all happened for a second time like real life because it was real life. So weird Moving on to our third story me and my daughter witnessed something surreal and unexplainable today For a few weeks before this while out driving I've observed pedestrians standing at the traffic lights who will reach into their pocket and look at their phone as they're walking across the road When the light goes green nothing significant or strange about this just one of those mundane things you notice while going about your day today i was driving with my daughter and we stopped at a red light at a crossing and there was a man standing there nothing out of the ordinary denim jacket black cap glasses around six foot two i thought i'd try to weird out my young daughter she's five so i knew i was going to blow her dang mind so i said see that man when the walking man goes green and he starts to walk across he'll reach into his pocket and pull out his phone and start looking at it watch and see as he walks across he reaches into his pocket but then immediately takes his hand out and looks and points right at me with his mouth open smiling like a gotcha stance of course my daughter found this absolutely hilarious and i sat there completely mind blown i must have sat there in silence looking at him walk across for the next 10 seconds i drove on and had a look at him as i drove past and he was smirking laughing i've been playing it through my head all day the windows were up the radio was on i wasn't shouting my voice was not even remotely raised he must have been about 50 15 to 20 feet away from me. I can't figure out at all how he could have heard me. It's literally impossible How did he know I was trying to predict he'd reach into his pocket for his phone? The only even remote possibility I can think of is that he had the same observation as me and thought I might be thinking the same thing So just went for it. But realistically, what are even the chances of this? You know what? I like the idea that this guy does the exact same thing every time he crosses the street and just hopes it will work And this was his lucky day. Can you imagine just every time he crosses the street he just turns to look at a car and goes gotcha and the people sitting in there are like oh, what what are you talking about just happened to be lucky on this one day that or maybe he's your fbi agent and he knows exactly what you're thinking at all times other than that i've got absolutely no idea guys with all these stories let me know down below if you have any rational explanations as to what might have happened i'll be interested to see what you guys think now for our final story friend's dad just woke up from a coma thinking it's 2010 but has new haunting memories of a life that never existed. My best friend Lucy's father had a severe brain aneurysm just before Christmas this past year. He ended up in a coma and just woke up about 13 days ago. Lucy and her family were so excited that he woke up fairly healthy and chipper considering the circumstances. However, they quickly discovered he thinks it's 2010. Lucy and I are both 23. In 2010, we were 13. Lucy was a dancer as a kid. She stopped dancing when we finished high school and one of her dad's first questions was what happened we were just at lucy's recital everyone assumed that he was just delirious at first but it became obvious fast that he doesn't remember anything from the last decade lucy has an older brother who within the last 10 years has gotten married and had a child of his own their dad does not recognize her brother's wife as they had not met prior to 2010 and he had no idea that he was a grandpa it was heartbreaking listening to her tell me this lucy and her brother are six years apart in between those six years before lucy was born their parents had a baby that lived for only five weeks in the nicu the craziest part of this whole thing is that her dad doesn't know they lost that baby and he has memories of his dead child's whole life he asked where duncan was and they sadly had to tell him dad remember duncan died when he was a baby lucy's dad was completely dumbfounded he has protested that duncan played hockey loved dinosaurs was doing a cult for the military and he wanted to be a firefighter when he finished high school None of these memories lined up with Lucy's older living brother, so they ruled out the possibility he was mixing the two sons up. He remembers raising Duncan from birth to a 17-year-old boy, which is how old Duncan would have been in 2010 
again if he didn't die in infancy. He knew Duncan's actual birthday and told everyone that he went with Duncan to buy his first used car that day. He has fabricated memories of his dead son during a time that he remembers everything else perfectly. All of his other memories from 1961 when he was born to 2010 are crystal clear and accurate. But this detail of remembering a whole life that never had the chance to exist is freaking everyone out. He is literally grieving a son right now that he already grieved 27 years ago when he actually died. He's devastated. We're wondering if this is some supernatural thing, as in did baby Duncan give his dad memories during a time when his brain was not with the current world? Has anyone else ever heard of anything like this? Guys, let me know down below. Has anything like this ever happened to you? For me, it, it never has, but I do have quite vivid dreams and sometimes I have whole memories of days that just never actually happened. The thing is, when I wake up, I do think, oh my god, I had an entire dream and it seems like it was just yesterday that this happened, but none of it actually did when I think about it. The heartbreaking thing in this story, of course, is that this dad thinks his son that died in infancy is still alive. Oh my god. I mean, it's hard enough going through a coma, then waking up to find out that the son that you have memories of his entire life died 17 years ago? Wow. Thankfully, OP has provided a light-hearted update. So, the dad has still not regained any memories from 2010 to 2020. Today, I visited him after work with Lucy, and we told him that Donald Trump is president. His immediate response was to laugh and tell us not to abuse the mentally frail. We laughed and told him we were dead serious and brought up news articles and photos to prove it. He said, you mean to tell me that the reality TV duck fluffed head sour face carrot is running the country? Christ, I think I'm still in the coma or I've died and gone to hell. This is truly what hell is, I imagine. Oh man, what a sad but wonderful story. You just don't get this sort of thing on Entitled Parents, if I'm honest, guys. Anyway, that is going to be the end of this first video on this new subreddit, r slash glitch in the matrix. I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If this video gets enough likes, let's say if it gets 5,000 likes, that's quite a lot. Um, Yeah, then I'll do another video on this subreddit. If it doesn't, then fair enough. You guys don't like it as much as I do. But yeah, overall, I think the stories are great, right? They're so entertaining and they just have a lot of layers. You've got to think about them. With that all being said, I will see you guys tomorrow for a more normal video back on the channel at the usual time.